I am so happy to be here tonight to pay tribute to a super talented American designer, Yoli Tang. Yoli came to New York City from Malaysia with a dream, and she went to Parsons School of Design. Yes, we can clap for Parsons. <laughs> she was discovered in 1981 by Don Mello, the legendary fashion director at Bergdorf Goodman. And this year marks Yoli's 40th year in business. Now, it might sound a little familiar. I guess you guys might not have realized that Yoli Tang and I are fashion twins in a lot of ways. Yes, Don Mello, 1981, 40 years, and here we are. Well, since then, Yoli has proven herself a devoted New Yorker and a great flag waver for American fashion. Yoli is a long-standing member of the CFDA and served on the board for many years. In truth, Yoli has set herself apart from the very start. Her credo has been about zero waste since she began her business. Her passion for sustainability was part of her DNA long before that became a fashion buzzword. Yes. She is also a great fighter for the Garment Center and for producing beautiful product here in New York City. I have to say that Yoli's designs are both architectural and user-friendly. She is innovative and creative, and she is always looking at new ways of achieving her vision of, quote, clothing as shelter. She cares about craft, she cares about her customer, and she cares about the planet. She is a rule breaker who has always done things her way. And I have to tell you, her intelligence and talent are always punctuated by a very sly sense of humor. Yoli received the Smithsonian Cooper Hewitt National Design Award for fashion in 2004. That same year, she hosted her spring runway show at the 42nd Street Bryant Park subway station. In fact, the invitation was in the form of a Metro card. Talk about breaking the rules. Her designs are in the permanent collection of the Victoria and Albert Museum in London and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And she has been featured in more than 40 museum exhibitions around the world. I could not be happier to present the Board of Directors Tribute Award to someone who is so talented, so passionate, so smart, so committed, and so deserving, Yoli Tang. We really shared a lot, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Including the moment when your ceiling fell on Susan Mankis' oh. head. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> well, that brought us Fashion Week. Exactly. In any case, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the CFDA, Stephen Cole, Tom Ford, and Cassandra Diggs, and the entire board of directors for this tribute, and Anna Wintour for all her support for fashion. As Michael says, I came from a tiny island in Malaysia to the biggest and most exciting island in the world, New York City. Parsons welcomed me. Stan Herman was my first critic. And Don Mello again, gave me my first order. 
200 pieces for a zero waste, one size fits all cape. Energy and economy all rolled into an enduring design of a genderless cape. The proximity of the garment district and the efficiency of the design enabled me to accept the order, turn it around in 10 days, and a business was born. The cape lives on, but today we are in a different world. How we grow and make things will determine how long we can sustain ourselves. In truth, life as we know has changed, and to endure, we have to reinvent. I am optimistic. I believe that in the company of my fellow designers, together we can and will all stand. Thank you, everybody.